Uh, Josh Martinez, 27 years old, born and raised in New York City, and currently living in Des Moines, Iowa as a night host, music director, uh, imaging director, and social media assistant for 107.5 KISS FM. I was born in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. Um, I would say it was a pretty tough neighborhood. Where I grew up with, there was a certain mentality, a certain type of sense of humor, a certain type of lifestyle. I, I went to uh, elementary school until about the fourth grade, and then a few days before fifth grade started, um, my dad basically assaulted my mom and we needed to get up and move like that at the drop of a hat. So we went over to Queens for about 10 days and then from there we moved to Staten Island. That's where my life changed, honestly. I'm not one of these people that grew up wanting to be in radio. I grew up wanting to be an actor, um, wanting to be an entertainer. And then I was going to school to be a drama major and then I kind of realized a drama degree from a community college is gonna get you nowhere. It's gonna get you nothing but debt and bills and a lot of heartache. So why don't I just go somewhere else? And then I realized you don't gotta wear makeup on radio. So I'm going into radio. You can still be yourself every day, every moment on the air and be drunk as hell, in pajamas, and have nobody care because they don't know. It's theater of the mind. I interned at KTU in New York City, and then from there, I refused to leave the building. I told them, like, hey, if you're looking for street teamers, I'll do it. Luckily for me, they actually were looking for street team members. I did that for about uh, four to six weeks, a very short amount of time, and then an overnight board op producing position opened up, um, and they offered it to me. So that was my first job. I was working overnight. I would do Friday from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. I would take the cushions out of a couch in the lounge, go to a secondary studio that nobody would touch, get a uh, um, sleeping bag, and I would just sleep on these three cushions in a secondary studio till about 8.40. Then I would produce from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. I'd take uh, the train to the Staten Island Ferry, then the bus, and I'd go back to my home and I'd sleep or eat, and then I'd kind of do that whole thing again. I moved to Des Moines November 13th, 2012. I wasn't gonna sit around waiting and waiting and climb up the ladder slowly and have someone from Columbus, Ohio come in and be over me. Someone from Seattle come in and automatically be over me. So I decided to take the opportunity to come to Des Moines and do things with my job that I otherwise would never have had the chance to do before the age of like 35 probably. I always knew that I was going to leave. Because I'm not going to stay in New York City. I'm not a prodigy. I'm not going to sit there. And I'm not a golden boy or a golden child. I didn't think I would go time zones away. Um, but everyone's got to do it in radio. And nobody feels sorry for you. I came here for business. I came here to do my, you know, couple of years, get my feet wet in a particular programming aspect, and then jump to the next city. I still to this day bring up the feeling I had when I was driving on 80. And you take this particular turn, if you're coming from like the Prairie Meadows, Altoona area, it's still pitch black out. And then you do like this windy turn and you get onto 235. And then you see like the buildings, the tall buildings here. Like the feeling I had was like immediately was, oh shit, this is actual building. That just started and set everything, and set everything off. I was like, this is, this is already better than I thought. There's no way this is gonna go downhill. And it hasn't, uh, Des Moines exceeded every expectation I ever had. I will forever feel comfortable anywhere you put me. I will do whatever I can to fit in as much as possible, so to speak, uh, to, a, to a degree. But here it's just like, I know I don't fit. And maybe that's just me. Maybe people look at me and don't even think twice that I'm not from here unless they start to speak to me. And then they realize you are not from here, sir. The stuff I learned here is just, I mean, I wouldn't have been able to learn this anywhere else, I feel, in the span of time that I've been here. I don't want to stay here any longer than I have to. I came here to go from here and to transition and go elsewhere. Everything is a chess move. Everything is a chess move and the ultimate goal is Z100 New York City, the station that I grew up listening to, the station that is number one in the world. So everything I'm doing is to get to there. So I love Des Moines, but I'm, I know I'm ready for the next challenge in my career. I know it.